Welcome to the Going Hard Podcast. My name is Josh DeLay. I host this podcast. Uh, over here is my co-host. I uh, my name's Alan. I also um <clears throat> uh, I I also host the podcast Very good. With, with Josh over here. Very good. And then Yo, what's up? What's uh, up? What's up, dude? Yeah, was, how, how you all doing tonight? And this guy, nice. let me tell you. Yo, what up, dog? That I mean, if you guys have the visuals too, he's got a fresh mustache. He's rocking a fresh he, must. Yo, check it. He's he's a musty, he's a musty young man. Yo, it's pert. He's got that. He's got it's that. It's pert. He's got that. He's got that basement face, dude. He's got that must going. Dude, hashtag basement face. Like with where you're at right now, like all the, all people, all the people can see is your mustache just peeking like around the corner of the video. Yeah, oh, it's, yeah, that's good. Huh? Yeah, it's yeah. peeking like a duck. Yeah, it's a good restaurant. <laughs> it's good peeking duck. Mm-hmm. That there's a restaurant called Peking, no, Peking duck. Garden. Oh yeah. Yeah. We should see if they'll sponsor the show, huh? That you think so you think they could? I mean, somebody should. Should we call them? Uh, sure. Yeah. Okay. That'd be great. You got, you got your cell phone handy? <laughs> I do. All right, let's call them. All right. Very uh, good. We, we used to frequent this place uh, quite a bit, actually. Uh, does this still exist? Yeah. They moved it. So the, uh, the uh, is it Allianz or is it Alliance? Allianz. Allianz, the Allianz Stadium. Yeah, the place where the came and, uh, the gent- loons. They, they gentrified the area. The soccer stadium did. They got rid of all of the blacks and the Asians. <laughs> yeah. Wait, so where is it at now? Uh, it's just, like, just slightly down the road. Oh, okay. Yeah. So then they push it into the ghetto? <laughs> yeah, they just... They just, <laughs> just like, is, that, is that a toot? I mean... What? Oh. Yeah, they just pushed him out, though. Yeah. <laughs> a fucking toot. What are you fucking a six year old girl? What are, what are you, you over there tooting? <laughs> I'm said, a dad now. Who says? Oh, yeah, okay. For dad language. Yeah, you've been a dad for like a month. Yeah, I say toot now. Oh god, because fart, <laughs> fart is a bad word. The, right? This 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 whole you being a dad thing is is gonna affect this podcast in ways I never f- fully understood. <laughs> yeah. It, yes. Mostly like your your lexicon going through a full scale. Uh, I know. Change. I know. I gotta swear a lot less. Holy fuck. What? Is that a burp? How I like. Nice. <laughs> I like. Oh, you're on sound bites. This uh, is sick. Alan, like every just bodily function. Oh, is that a toot? Oh, is that a burp? I got. Oh, oh you yawning over there? It's like I yeah, gotta, yeah, he I is. I gotta ask these things. <laughs> Why? I don't it's know. Self evident. <laughs> yeah, this is See, that great. was that was poop in the pants right producer, there. Producer, <laughs> producer B has gotten into the sound effects. All right, here you go, dude. This is, this is the number. Yeah, yeah. So there's the just hit the call thing. This is a little button that says call there. Yeah, very yeah. good. Let's, yeah. uh, let's see if we can get a sponsor quick. <laughs> okay. It, why is it saying it's an? It inter- so wet. Why is it saying it's an international? Be- because number? they're fucking Asian, dude. Of course, it's right. international. Uh, hello, is this Peking Garden? Yep. Hey, uh, do you guys have like a marketing department or anything? Oh, sorry to say that again? Uh, do you guys have, like, a marketing department or anything? A marketing department? Yeah. Um, for, like, you're talking about ads? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I'm talking about, actually. So, uh, we run a local podcast here over in St. Paul, uh, and we love your guys' food. We were wondering if you guys wanted to be a sponsor for our podcast, perhaps. For our podcast, you want to... Okay. Um, I'm not the right person to talk to. The lady you want to call... If you want to call back tomorrow, ask for Mary. Mary. She'll be in. Yep. She'll be in, and you can ask, talk to her about that. Okay. Oh, we, we can talk to Mary. Okay, cool. Yeah, we'll, we'll give them a call tomorrow. Thank you so much uh, for your time. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, yeah, thank bye. you. Bye. That guy, that guy immediately was just like, these guys are fucking idiots. Well, no, I, I, I think I was, he sounded very sincere. He was, yeah, but the second he heard podcasts, he's like, oh, these guys, they're on a they're on a podcast. Yeah. And they just want sponsors, you know? Well, yeah, but why? Why wouldn't you if you're on a podcast? There's, there's some people who are making like, 
like millions of dollars. I don't want to fucking sell out, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. The ad reads got to stay fucking pure. <laughs> yeah, you know what? You're right. That's true. This was very hay- this is very greedy of me, you <laughs> yeah. know? I thought you were just going to ask him if we could use their their likeness in our podcast, you know? Well, wait, what's the way? What would, what would that look like? Well, I don't know. Just like you know, talk about their food and stuff. And, oh, yeah, <laughs> that's their likeness. Yeah, <laughs> the, their their professional likeness. I, I think, think that's I, the technical. I think way we should of use their it. we should use not their likeness but their image. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> should I uh, <clears throat> get the uh, the scotch tape? Yes. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right. I know what you're saying. <laughs> cool. I know what you're saying. Look, we need to not get into this. This needs to be, we need to have a good boy podcast because now two podcasts in a row, you've just said outrageously, what do you, what do you fucking mean? outrageously oh, how, racist things. How was the last podcast, by the way? In what, I, in I what didn't way? want to listen to it. I just decided that. Well, it was for the outside best. of you saying the N word. God damn. I did not say that. Well, all right. Look, let's just put it in the past. All right? We're going to have a good boy podcast this time. Whatever you did on the previous two podcasts in relation to some Wizard of Oz characters and <sighs> also pretending to be a Def Jam comedian. I did that? Mm. I've been blacking out a lot lately. Yeah, apparently. It's a lack of sleep. I don't sleep anymore, I mean, man. you were really blacking out, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> But we're gonna get complete. We're gonna get completely past all of this. Okay. okay? Yeah. Good. Let's let's uh, let's migrate. Let's let's have to, a good. Uh, let's have a good. Let's have a good a good boy cast. You know right. what I mean? Yeah. Let's, yeah. Let's be good boys. Okay. You know, there's a, there's no reason to get down into the the weeds. You know, we we can we can talk about things that people want to hear. We can talk about things that are nice to, to hear. You know, it doesn't always have to be all this borderline racially confusing material yeah. you know yeah okay like for instance you're raising a baby is there do you have a fun anecdote about raising a baby um uh none that fucking aren't like overdone i don't think yeah so you're just, you're just having a hack time i really am yeah <laughs> you know like i think it's because it's just it's, bo- it's just boring probably huh like it's probably not actually like there's nothing no, that- it's, it's not even that it's boring it's like so uh, I don't know if people know what like colic is. Like, do you know what colic is? No, you, you said understand? that the other day, and I and I didn't even care to have you elaborate. But okay, I, do you, should I just not? No, just not no, I think you should now. Okay, so we're saving it for the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And podcast. Don't Twitter. don't waste my time in real life, but go ahead and waste my time on here. All right, I'll just stop talking to you outside of the podcast. <laughs> I think. Uh, so col- <laughs> colic essentially is like they don't really know what it is. They like have. Uh, theories on like what it is but it's essentially like the symptoms are like it happens the same time throughout like the day and it's basically like your child just starts like crying uncontrolled like and they're like completely unconsolable so it's like they just start fussing and then like start crying and you can't like give them like milk to make them stop like you can't wrap them up like enough and make them stop you kind of just have to like like just wade through the storm essentially just like do your best, you know. Okay. And uh, it's been happening, you know, like nighttime and stuff. So is that every day. On uh, most, day, like uh, I would say, like three times a week. So since nothing it's really bad, and then like other times, it's like it's so so. Since know? since nothing can soothe this, apparently. Yeah. I think maybe just like a reflection on how much he fucking hates you. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Like it's a general like. Uh, anger at like his life and his condition. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, like the, cir- yeah, the circumstances into which he was born. Well, well, that's what I mean. Like, I feel like I brought him into uh, a very trying period of, of time. You know. Yeah. And I think he senses it. Right. Because the babies, they have, they have, like, they're, they're very instinctual creatures. Y- yeah. You know, like, uh, um, you know, where where babies lack the ability to like walk when they come out of the womb, like giraffes and things. Sure. Uh, they have pre- uh, uh, preternatural senses about the the going ons around them. You know? Sure, yeah, and, I, I, uh, can, I can believe that. I heard if you, I heard if you drop a baby, it always lands on all fours. Yeah, it's like a, a slice of bread with butter on it. In that case, <laughs> wait, what? Yeah, where if you drop it, it always lands butter side. Oh, down, I see. You know? That might be a better one. Yeah. What are the other things that when you drop them? Uh, so, I mean cats. Right, as I'm saying, they always land on all fours. Yeah, yeah. They, well, yeah. So if you, if you drop them from their back, they flip over and land on their feet. But I heard a human infant also does that. Yeah. Can we test that out on, live on the pod? Uh, they when w- I know when they not uh, with your baby. Let's go steal one. I know when they crawl out of the crib, they they uh, always land head first on the corner of the toy chest. You Oof. Know? Wait, that happened already. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, it didn't. Oh my god, yeah, that happened to me though. Actually, oh no, that, that, I'm not even. I'm not even joking. You see the scar right here, dude. That explains so much. Yeah, I fucking am ret- uh, retarded. I think. <laughs> yes, I know. Yeah, I know. Uh, but yeah, so I have a scar right here. I don't yeah. know if you've ever noticed this about me. Yeah, that little da- dash thing there. Yeah. I think it's on. The, is it on this side or is it on this? Side? I I can't tell. Here, look. Your face is just all fucked up. Anyway, it's on that side you were touching. This first. this side. Yeah, okay, there, yeah. You got a scar there. Yeah, yeah. Oh Jesus Christ, fucking fat. Uh, so, yeah, <clears throat> that's, that's yeah. Not very nice. I, I crawled, yeah, uh, what's wrong with being fat? I, I was one of those kids who like fucking climbed a lot when I was a baby. You what? I climbed. You were a climber. I was a climber. Uh, a and I, I climbed out of my, he was a social climber, I climbed out of my crib and I just fucking face dove into the corner of my toy chest and I fucking was just bleeding. From how, my face. how old were you? You were in the crib. You're like three years old or something. I mean, I was in the crib, so it had to be somewhere between like one and two years old, I think. Yeah. You know, I don't think toddlers like sleep in like, I know that but <laughs> but weren't you in like, a, they kept you in the crib for like, for like four or five <laughs> or something. Right? Well, it, was more, it wasn't, it wasn't a crib per se. It was more of like a cage. Yeah. I think, you know, you, you, you were the oldest crib dad. Ever, <laughs> yeah. I set the world record for oldest crib death. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so, my parents always tell me this story, and I think it's absolute bullshit too. This is just going off the whole like me climbing things. Sure. They said they f- they found me on top of the fucking uh, doorknob uh, leading out to the front door, like with my hands on the fucking like deadbolt. Like, and this was when I was, like, really little. So they said, like, my mom always, like, swears to God that, like, she came around the corner. And my feet were, like, you know, like, like this kind of, like, where they were, like, pointing outwards, like, on top of the doorknob. And then my hands were, like, holding onto the deadbolt. And I was just standing there crying. Wait. So you, were, you climbed <laughs> all the way up, holding somehow, feet on the doorknob, hands on the deadbolt. Somehow, according to them, I... Uh, wiggled my way all the way up on top of the doorknob, planted my feet, and then held on to the, the deadbolt. Interesting. Yeah. What's your take on that? I mean, it seems pretty unlikely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> seems unlikely you'd have the you'd have the they, 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 she upper body God, strength to get yourself up there. It, seems... it doesn't make none of it makes any sense. Yeah. Do you remember it at all? How no, old? How old were you no. supposedly? Supposedly, I mean, like just like a fucking little tiny baby. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. When I, I I would assume like right when I was like learning to like stand up and climb on things, you know. Yeah. Yeah. You climb before you could walk. So that that raises my next question because like I feel like my mom like wouldn't just make this up. So I like I think I think there's some truth behind this. She she doesn't know the circumstances of how I got on the door. Now. Oh, so you I, think we like, like siblings put you up there or something? I feel like my dad put me up there. Yes, he was trying to raise a real man. Well, no, he was trying to just like mur- he was like oh. tor- he was torturing me. Well, I bet he was just like they land on all fours. He's fine. I think I think he was like, let's just put him up here to see how long he lasts. And then like he heard my mom coming around the corner. And he's like, oh fuck, I gotta get out of here. Yeah, this, is, this isn't a good look for me. Yeah. You know? And so he just ran away, and my mom came around the corner and you know helped me out or whatever. Yeah. yeah. Oh, for that's you know what that seems that that seems plausible. Yeah. I could see that. Because my dad was like, I wonder how long it'll take him to just peel off that fucking thing and just land on his forehead, you know? I wonder if he was shocked at your perseverance, though, yeah. you know? Well, he, I think he was the one who also fucking made me jump face first into the corner of the tool toolbox, now that I really think about it. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of unexplained things. <laughs> All having to do with you somehow, like, climbing and getting into a very precarious situation. Yeah. Kind of uh, in a freak way. Uh-huh. So either you were, like, one of those, like, retarded X-Men p- kids, you know? Uh, like I could like fl- levitate and shit. Yeah, you had something going on. You know what I mean? I mean that that's that could be an alternative. Yes. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Dude, these dogs. Are literally they, they they don't they can't act right during the podcast, dude. <laughs> I had to say it was nice to see. You. I haven't seen Isla in forever. I, yeah, I know. I wasn't I wasn't expecting. It. I walked in the walked into the yeah, little patio. Well, you know, I've I been heard a, two two dogs barking. Too well, long. it's because I've been taking these. Uh, I've been taking all this like uh, non PTO days off. Yep. So then I on Wednesday since I already have to come out here anyway. I usually go to get to work at like five a.m. and then work till five. Yeah. And so then it's, I just have one of my roommates take care of, the, of Nyla. However, both the roommates are out of town. And uh, I was also at the casino until like midnight, midnight 30 or whatever. Yeah. So I, I think I didn't get to work till like 8. Okay. Uh, so I didn't have the luxury of uh, feeling like it would made made sense. Like, uh, if I'm going to stay at work till 5, I want to get there. at. I want to maximize that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, you know. Yeah. Oh, your Good dog's look, your dog's looking uh, looking real thin though. I noticed. Does she look thin? Yeah, she looks thinner than when she lived here. I yeah, think. I was gonna say she looked like she lost a little weight. Well, the the vet says she's fat. All of us were just like fucking shoving her, like all. I think all four of us were just shoving her face with table food. Well, that's good. The entire fucking time. She likes it. I no, was. I mean, I I made her tater tot hot dish almost dude, every I, night. Dude, <laughs> I know. I made her whipped up a, I, I used a nice to, eight by twelve of, of tater tot hot dish I, for. Her. I went to Costco and I bought a box of fucking like a big family pack of uh, um, party pizzas, the Tostitos. Yeah, and I would make her two. Yeah, every, I mean, every dude, she day. would, yeah. she would and, smash and that. that. Oh, and you also got you gave her. A cheeseburger I would just like well. I, we would go into the backyard and I would just frisbee it, like, and she would just run and she would always miss, but she would yeah. get it, you know. You love frisbeeing frozen pizzas, yeah, cooked, frozen, whatever, you know. You, you, you just love frisbeeing pies. <laughs> why, why do you why do you hold on to this like anger at me throwing a pizza in your car? <laughs> it's not. I know anger. that's I know that's where this is coming. Oh, from. it's not anger. I just, it's, I'm not, I'll never forget you just coming out. First of all, just how hammered you were that day. And yeah. then just like you coming out just in a full, just, <laughs> well, also the reason, the reason I, I bring it up too is because this is when I was actually sober. So this is like a, oh, you were sober for that. Yeah. Oh, well, that was extra fucking weird. Well, what, what kind of pizza was it? It was a, uh, uh, Heggies or a Hedgies. You fucking frisbeed of a Heggies? Yeah. The hell was wrong with you? It was fine. It's wrapped in plastic. Dude, Alan's look, Alan's like these guys who are watching play poker on TV just now. A couple of hundred thousand dollars means nothing to them. A frozen pizza, this guy makes so much money, it doesn't mean shit to him. Yeah, see these guys those guys operate in thousands of dollars. I operate in uh dozens of pizzas. Yeah. Well, it should have been a fucking Jack's pizza. I am disgusted right now. I look, yeah. I I would never do that either. But how yes, if it was a Jack's or like a Roma, oh I'd frisbee it. But I'm not gonna frisbee like a nine dollar frozen why, pizza. Why not? $9, First off, nine dollars, dude. It's wrapped in plastic, and yeah. then beyond that, it's got a second mode of uh, protection, which is cardboard, which okay, is directly I, underneath the piece. I thought it was a fully cooked. No, 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 no. Uh, no this thing. It was a frozen. It didn't really frozen change pizza. anything. But yeah. Still. yeah, yeah. I'm not like fucking Walter White, you know. Uh, you hear that? Very good. What is that? That's top topical. Of the that's topical for Josh because he just finished that. Yeah, show. I watched that ten years ago. Uh, he got it on the roof, right? Yeah, yes. right on the roof, or on, okay. the, on the roof of the garage specifically. Yep. Um, they, I guess that was one take they said in the uh, behind. Who the scenes. was uh, I was talking to somebody. Who the fuck was I talking to? Who said that that they went to New Mexico or Albuquerque or whatever? And that that the house is actually there. Does it still have the pizza up there? No. Here's the issue. Yes. Here's the issue. Well, yes. But it's people not, people keep throwing pizza on, and there. The, so the people who live in that house literally just sit in lawn chairs in their front yard all day because otherwise pizzas just go on the roof and they just they can't stop That's it. It's fucking awesome. lucky. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty dope. That's actually. really fucking cool. Yeah, dude. Can you imagine just like, ah, don't worry about it, honey. I think we'll get some dinner later. <laughs> that is kind of nice. Though. If you if they ever like hit hard times, yeah, then you just stay inside. And you get so many pizzas. Yeah, you get you have a pizza party every day, dude. Y yes. So that's the recipe. That's the recipe. Live in a famous home where pizza was once thrown at it, and you'll always have pizza. Now, this might be the only... Is there another ho famous movie or uh, television home where food would be thrown at it? I feel like even Stevens may have uh, oh, something how about to this? say here. How about this? Dude, where's my car? Dude, hey, we were talking. What and they, then what do they throw in that show? At, 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 the, at the the opening scene, they have to pretend that they didn't have a party, so they throw the, the pizza up on the oh, ceiling. Oh yeah, and then it and sticks. It, gets stu it sticks. Yeah. So and then the problem and is you, the, the problem is you do have to break and enter to make this happen, and that's uh, yeah, that's I mean, something. Throwing pizza on someone's roof is no big deal. I mean, mm. I've thrown so much random shit at people's houses in my day. You know, eggs. So many eggs. Yeah. Think about that. The, the egg crisis we're in right now. That was like fucking five. That'd be like five dollars an egg, dude. We, we would never be able to afford that. No, nope. not like, with our uh, measly uh, four dollars an hour jobs. Well, I, I don't think I was even working. Most of the eggs I was throwing was I was like ten and shit. I think I I think I was getting paid four dollars an hour at Senex. Was, yes, that, no, was that right? Rocks are free, right? <laughs> oh, that's actually a good call. Pete's like, oh, you hey. you pussies are throwing eggs, huh? <laughs> I was breaking hey, windows. Uh, not meant for the pod here, but our old Senex job. Yeah, they tore it. They down. tore. Did, they tore down the building. They're building yeah. a new one. Mm -hmm. It's Wait, crazy. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I don't. I, I. I'll never go back to that town. Probably. You don't think so? Oh, that's no reason. I, mean, I choose not to, and I'm still there. So. Yeah, I used to go back way too much, so I, yeah. I, I made up for it. Uh, what was I saying? Throwing eggs. How much were we getting paid though when we worked there? Was it four dollars? And I, I five. I like, want to say five twenty-five. I feel like when I first started there, it was four dollars. 
Like four ninety seven. Is that crazy? Yeah, but that, that sounds probably right. I bet you're making five fifteen. Yeah, that was minimum. I'm wage. pretty sure minimum. Yeah, I was gonna say five twenty five, five fifteen, something like that. Yeah, that, yeah, you're probably that, right. That was the, wage. the number four sticks out in my brain for some reason. We're old. Yeah, I, I have fucking Alzheimer's. Yeah, we are. We are getting old, man. Isn't it, isn't it, isn't it sad that like think about like Sonny, your 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 son, Sonny. Oh, speaking of that, we like Carly was looking at this fucking wait is, these is, depressing numbers. That is, that was cool. By is the he way. Benjamin? Is he Benjamin? Uh, Button? Yeah. Is he Patch Adams? So, um, what if your son turns into Patch Adams? What if what if when you uh, gave cool birth name. instead of a baby it was a senior citizen came out and then started aging backwards? Yeah, the you know? senior <laughs> comes out just just honks your wife's tits. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and, and just like flashes a little gummy smile at her. Yeah, a little, a little maga and, hat, and, and it, I'm just holding it in my arms. Yes, and everyone know? just chuckles because it's an old man; he can just do whatever he wants. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How cute! And they spank him on the bottom. Yeah, Classic. exactly. Yeah, yeah his wrinkly old yeah, what, ass. What the fuck were we just talking about? Uh, well, I was just saying how it's sad. You were saying there's like some numbers that are not oh, good. Oh, uh, she um, she had looked at this application that tells you like based on your child's birth date when like the, their life events will happen. You know, well, I mean, that's like, some, fucking like you'll be that's like some hippy dippy bullshit. You'll be right like, there. well, just like she was just rattling off numbers at me, and it was just making me very depressed. Cause, well, like, like, like what like, though? I'm actually a little it's confused. Like, 20, like twenty, like he'll he'll uh, like be twenty one and like twenty uh, forty four or something like that. Is that bad? I don't know. This is a long time. I feel. Oh, like. I see. So you guys did. Math. Let me guess. We just did math. Can yeah. I, can I guess? Yes. Let me think. So I'm guessing it's 21 years in the future. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Wait. So it's tw- you're saying in 21 years he will be 21. Uh, yeah. So if you add 21 to 23, it's 20. Uh, so four. Uh, so 2044. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. 2044. Yeah. Oh. Good okay. God. See, that's, that's shocking. This crazy. Is what, so like they always. So, keep, so, they always so teach wait. You hold that, on. Uh, hold on. Though. Okay. The, sorry. Let me. No. Let me, no. Go ahead. So you're saying his 100th birthday. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what will be 100 years from now? From from 2023. So yes. so right now it's 2023. So 100 years from now, that's like what? Uh, 20. Uh, I don't know. It's like 21 something. 21. Can you uh, please we, we Google this? Yeah, definitely. Type in what the year will be 100 years. So from they now. they always they always tell you that like math is, should be used for good things. Yeah, we're 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 doing it right now. No, but like this is like an example of math being used for for evil. Okay. What what, what does it say what what will it be 100 years from now? What will what will the year be? What is <laughs> <laughs> What, what is a hundred years from today? Click on that link. Yeah. What is a, this? Better. I, hold like, on. If this link doesn't give me a virus, like I, I'm one hundred years from today is going to be what? Oh, twenty one twenty three. Okay. Holy, okay. All right. Okay. Two thousand one hundred. That can't be right. Yeah. This is a this is a bug website. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> they got this website that only tells you what it'll be in a hundred years. Hey, uh, 36,523 days from now. That's, that's it. That's not bad. Yeah, that's that ain't shit. And also, by the way, it's going to be a Monday. Hey, uh, producer. Hey, yes. Could you leave this up so that way I can watch the c- countdown? <laughs> you should just actually just strap Sonny into a chair and not let him. <laughs> but, like, He's th- been here for 100 years. This is how long you have to wait until you can leave this house. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Torture your son. <laughs> well, luckily he'll I'm be. Start, a- I'm gonna start fucking putting him on top of doorknobs pretty soon here, dude. I mean, that's that's the thing. Like, that's like when you get hit as a kid or you get molested as a kid, you're, you're likely of you being an abuser. Yeah, like doubles or something crazy. And I didn't even realize I was being abused until today when I started talking about it. Yeah, yeah. you have a lot of stories about. <laughs> you're gonna hit your kid, dude. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna put him on top of doorknobs. Right. I you mean, should do a rum that, springer. Hitting, hitting him. Yeah, you should do a rum springer. Yeah? Ru- I'll have a rum springer. Should me and Carly pretend we're Amish? No, be be Jews. You give, don't have to pretend. Give him a bat mitzvah. Okay. Wait, what's which one's for the the fellas? Is it the, the bat mitzvah or the bar mitzvah? Bar the bar mitzvah. That's, I believe. that's a, a, the bat. That's the one. That's the, the one where the the Jewish uh, the priest Jewish priest man bites your son's dick. No, off. that's a bris. That's a bris. Yes. Okay. Why do you think they As call it As a Jewish that? man, they, I don't they, like you the way you guys talk. 
Oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, he's got that curly, you know, those curly hair. You know, we said we were going to be good boys on this podcast, anyway. So let's not go the Jewish route here. Actually, that's that was pretty friendly talk for the moment. And the PD brought it into. It was until you start talking about the guy biting the. the well, guy's that's what dick. They, that's what they do. No, it's I tradition. Know, I know, but let's it's be, Jewish tradition. But why bring that? There's all sorts of other Jewish traditions you that aren't include biting dicks. I don't know. Like what? The curly fucking weird uh, sideburns? Or yeah, what? I want a pocket full of or change. Their, or their dumb fucking hats? Yeah, a pocket full of change, controlling the weather. <laughs> I mean, there's all sorts of Jewish yeah, traditions. Like, yeah. yeah, they're all fun. Building pyramids. They're all fun. and cr- Yeah, you know, you know get, getting gassed to death, <laughs> riding trains. Jesus. All sorts of fun Jewish traditions, you yeah. know? Yeah. Fucking over prominent just hip, as as, hip-hop artists. Well, I mean, just as long as we stay in that territory, <laughs> we'll be fine. But I think, you know, the whole Jewish thing just run its course. You know, we well, can talk about other things if we want. That's what Hitler thought. <laughs> Speaking of that, did you guys see what Kanye said about the uh, Jonah Hill? Mo- uh, uh, what is it? Twenty One Jump, Jump Street. Street. Yeah. Wait. Okay. Hold on. This a is second. the funniest shit. Oh, okay. Ever. So th- this is new anti-Semitism from Kanye. Uh, no, 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 no. He no, now no. loves Jews again. He loves Jews now. Uh, quote Be- unquote because of twenty 21- one <laughs> because because of Twenty One Jump Street and because uh, Jonah Hill is. An actor who's also Jewish. How the fuck do you spell Kanye? Is it E N or A N? N Y E. Guy's an idiot. Oh, A A A N A N Y E. You don't you know how to spell Kenya? Just do that, but mix the letters up. If if you switch the vowels in Kenya, you have Kanye. <laughs> Kenya West. Twenty one jumps. Oh, hey, you know what? You know what's another fun little word game? I I or a word trick I discovered. What's that? So whenever someone is talking bad about trans people, about trans, just say hey. You can't spell star without trans. I don't understand. Well, because uh, the letters S T A R are also in trans. Oh yeah, they are. No, they aren't. Yes. Well, yeah, they are. Yeah, they're all jumbled up though. Well, yeah, because it's a very confusing thing that whole. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we're being good boys. Baited. Okay. Baited. So, so what, did, what did Kanye do here? Yeah, yeah, read this. Hold on. This, they they got to have the tweet in here. Who right? thinks more mentally ill, the average trans? Oh, it's, it was right there. Who do you, hey, who, who, who do you think is more mentally ill? Kanye West or, oh, wait. The, or, or... Oh, yeah, and then the rest of it's right there. Okay, yeah. Yeah, so what, uh, start at the top one. <laughs> yeah. Watching right. Jonah Hill in 21 Jump Street made me like Jewish people again. Okay. And then the next what one. What the fuck? And then, and then the next bit is the, uh, the continuation of the tweet. No one should take anger against one or two individuals and trans. You know, you can't spell transform without star. That's true. That into hatred towards millions of millions of people. No Christian can be labeled anti Semitic knowing Jesus is Jew. Thank you, Joe Hill. I love you. <laughs> dude, Kanye is so fucking dope, dude. <laughs> so far, Jonah Hill has not responded. <laughs> Yeah. That's unfortunate. Well, it just goes to show you, man. Like, so, <laughs> Oh, here you go, right here. <laughs> uh, Made me like Jewish people. Thank you, Jonah Hill. I love you. <laughs> man. So do you think it was just all fucked up watching? I mean, he's obviously just really fucked up watching 21 Jump Street and just like... Because I, I guess this was like the first tweet he's had like since that whole like... Uh, yeah, I don't event know. happened. <laughs> Bro on his redemption arc. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> By a guy named Cock. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's, but... hey, let's uh, let's check the comments on this uh, post here. Uh, so Cock posts, bro on his redemption arc. <laughs> Thanks, Cock. Yeah. It's not that deep. So far, it's been Cock. Ooh, what a classic bird. Who's that? Never heard of uh, him. I guess. Let's get, we gotta get off yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. Just, it's, but anyway. it's just funny that like that was like the first is like first I mean, like, look, thing he man. said to the public since Dude, that is one of the funny that one sentence fucking wild. Like, Jonah Hill in twenty one shifts made me like Jewish people again. <laughs> is I mean, that's the funniest sentence <laughs> anyone has ever typed. Yeah. Like you yeah. take you take you take that bad boy out of context. Like, if, if, like, just, does, does it have a context to begin with? Well, it does because he doesn't because he historically doesn't like Jewish people now. I guess. I mean, I I think out of context is even funny. <laughs> like, just if, just if, if you had that on a piece of paper, like outside of the context of knowing that Kanye said that, yeah, and you just gave that to someone. That's the funniest thing. Like, I, that's the funniest line of anything I've wild. ever read. 
I just don't think, yeah, I just don't think that there's any, like, place that, like, you, you can't find any other sentence in, like, the, in, like, our language and just throw that in there and have it make sense. Like, I don't no, think that, there's no context. There's, there's no context well, that's I mean, okay with it. I mean, it, it, so, I mean, <laughs> yeah, yes and no. It doesn't make any fucking yes sense. Yes and no. The context is, obviously, you, you what you can get. You can infer that this person did not like Jews, but okay. first of all, all right. not liking Jewish people—that's usually a pretty like strong, like deeply yeah. entrenched stance. Yep. You know, yep. not, you're not easily wavered. Do you think you like read like Mind Kampf or something? Like, no, no, no. It was it was watching was... some like New World Order. I have read Mind Kampf. Oh, gotcha. Yeah. Did you? I fucking I wrote my own version. Yeah. What'd yeah. you call, What'd you call yours? My struggle. Nice. That's I call English version. I I wrote a uh, revisionist history of Mein Kampf called My Successes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And all it is is just just me gloating about how the Jews have lifted me up in this world. <laughs> how <laughs> the Jews have given me a successful life. <laughs> if not for them, much more positive. Much it more is. positive. It's a good, it's a good spin yeah, on if it. If not for Jews, boom, boom, boom. Right, George Harrison, little Bob Dylan. All right, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's that song was about Jews. That's why when George Harrison took it over from Bob Dylan, he kind of uh, 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 culturally appropriated. I think you made you made Pete take off his headphones with all the Jewish talk. <laughs> Yeah, of course you, you do. Because of the... He's getting a little queasy. Because of the fucking penis thing. All this, all this talk's making me a little queasy. <laughs> yeah, is that how Jewish people talk? Yeah, I mean... Kind of. That was actually all right. I don't know. I shouldn't good. be doing any of this. Yeah. <laughs> how long did it take you to edit the last podcast, by the way? Uh, well, if you listen to the podcast... I don't, I don't want to. Like, I kind of just wanted the spark, spark notes <laughs> version of you'll it. You'll find there was very little editing done. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> I mean, that's not good at all. <laughs> I feel like I have to nah, watch it now. you're good. It's all good, man. God damn. The song was good, though. The song turned out okay. Second, uh, what's, what the problem with the songs, it's not to get too mad. We, we got to quit talking about the podcast on the podcast. Yeah, who the fuck cares? Nobody listened to this <laughs> fucking thing anyways. Now, now you're speaking my language. <laughs> now, this is what we can all agree upon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter. <laughs> who this the thing fuck cares? It sucks so bad. Yeah, yeah. Um. The only problem is sometimes with these songs, like the first time through the chorus, I do it really good, and then I kind of forget yeah. what I did in the chorus. Oh yeah. So then the second chorus is you, you can't match. You can't match it up. Well, yeah. I just don't remember exactly how. You know what I mean? Well, I could just like well, cut and paste the. Sometimes that might work. Like you could just tell me to do that, and I could just fucking yeah. cut and paste the the chorus. Well, it's hard. It's hard to just like fucking write a cohesive fucking song in one take. Like yeah, you. Be, I mean, you've done it successfully. Like sometimes it turns like, out good. Times, you know? Sometimes it turns out good, but sometimes it doesn't. And definitely, just doing it one time through doesn't. Like we wanted to sit here and labor over it for minutes, we could. Yeah, but I don't. I don't want to. <laughs> I mean, we're doing good for it, them being like. It also you know, makes 30 it thirty minute produced songs or however long it takes. Yeah, to if make even. Them. Yeah. Uh, and, but it also makes it more special when it turns out good, and there's yeah, so, it's little, like a so little, little effort. That, so that way, uh-huh. when the ones that are actually good, you're like, oh, that was sick that that worked out. You yeah, know? exactly. Yeah, I yep. I think so. That's how I set my entire life up, by the way. Uh, it's, it's actually same here. Like I feel like uh, never. I've never tried fully at anything. Yeah, for the minimal amount of effort that I've put into everything that I've done, uh, I'm feeling pretty good about it. I feel like, uh, um, yeah, uh, the, the ratio could be is, a lot worse, right? Given how hard but, I've tried, which has been not at all at really anything, mm-hmm. like you know, actually nothing. The scales always tilt one direction or the other, though, and then like I feel like it's like a compiling effect. It's like you know. Wait, what do you mean by that? I think it's a bell curve, is what I'm saying. Okay, but how so? So like, I mean, it goes up and then it comes. No, I know. Like a side, yes, you know? like the, the curve is a shape of a bell. Yeah, I just think. But, like, but what do you? But what does that mean in this context? I don't know. Maybe I'm saying this wrong, but I feel like <laughs> I, I feel are, like I'm very I, confused. I feel like things are positive right now, and they're they're gonna hit a. It's gonna turn around very. So quickly. basically, what you're saying is that things are going good relative to the amount of effort you've put in. Yeah, what you're saying. And now it's going to sw- it's going to at some point fucking oh, sway in the other direction. I see. Yes. yes. Yes, I but, feel like, you know. But it, but uh, if it were speaking of bell curves, it depends on which end of the bell curve you started at, right? Yeah. Because if you end up on one end of it, that means you're incredibly successful. Yes. On the other end, it means you're oh, the yeah. worst of the worst. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I'm trying to think of a good, like... It's a very narrow... I found this, on the web. this fucking watch sometimes, dude. Yeah. She found, I used to, she I used found to have a bell curve. You on your fucking penis? No. Yeah, I mean, kind of. 
Is that, is, was that before or after the <laughs> rabbi bit your fucking it's dick? It's okay off, to have dude. a curved dick, but not a bell curved <laughs> dick. <laughs> no, I was just talking about a gay bell, but whatever. Oh. Wait, a gay bell? Whatever, don't ask. <laughs> uh, I like gay bells. So, um, <clears throat> I had uh, uh, somebody at work uh Re- refer to the size. Hey, keep keep doing this. I have to grab another beer, but you keep talking. I'll I'll be able to hear you. All right. Um, what's the uh, what's the, what what's that word for like? Uh, it's like an al- allegory when you're like talking about. Is that what it's? Is that? Oh, the old Allegheny River. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the Allegheny River. You know the one I'm talking about. Yeah, classic. I actually like. There's a bridge on top of that that I like quite a bit. Yeah, the one that goes to Terabithia. Well. Yeah, I can say yes or I can say no. <laughs> that book was fucked up. Never read it. And the little little girl fucking drowns to death at the end of it. I read David Balducci now, so yeah, yeah, I'm an old. Yeah, you and uh, you and your stepdad or whatever fucking have a book club. The worst fucking book I've ever read. Oh, I better hope he never listens. It to was this. weird. It was coming from a four year old guy who yeah. wants to fuck like. 20 year olds constantly there's nothing wrong with that no i, mean, I, I know, was gonna when, say like what's know, uh when you know that all these old men read this and they love it it's like you question a lot of things oh yeah because like you, you know that the, the part of it appeals to them in a certain you know certain way yeah in yeah. a very specific way yeah sorry honey i swear it's not porn yeah you think he jerks off to the books <laughs> all right uh, so the whole allegory thing. So uh, yeah, it's an allegory. Is, is that the right allegheny? Like if if like that's like uh, used in like the sense of like, um, like it's like a metaphor, like metaphor. It's, it's metaphorical for sure. So an allegory generally is like there'll be two stories that are different. However, they 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 run so parallel, right? So like uh, a famous a famous example. Of this do you, are you familiar with like Narnia and shit? Uh, yeah. So they, there's a, there's a, the, what's called the Jesus cat allegory where. Aslan in yes, it's like okay. clear. It's clearly, clearly like Jesus, right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Now, so what I was gonna I say, don't remember, when, when it made sense. I don't remember context, specifically but. what an allegory is, though. Yeah, I think I'm just refer- like I think it's just a metaphor. Then, well, do you want to type in? Do you want to type in allegory, Pete? A l l e g o r y. Hmm. But uh, uh, one of my coworkers uh, has been referring to the the amount of people on a team by the amount of pizza that they that each team would consume. So if you um, have, say, say this again, start. start what, what what did you say? So, uh, one of my coworkers, uh, they they've continued. They, this is like the third time that they've said it, and this is so like it, it's made me notice it at this point. I thought like maybe the first two times were just like them just talking out of their ass, but I think this is just kind of how they refer to like amounts of people at this point. But they refer to amounts of people by the amount of pizza that they would consume if they were at a pizza party. So if you have like uh, six to twelve people, according to them, it's like a two uh, two pizza team. What okay, the and they just about? so like then then he just like goes on. So it's like there's a certain number of like people on this sure. group. And so he's like, "Oh, it's a three, three, uh, three pizza team." Sure, this isn't this is not an allegory. It's not an allegory. It's okay. like a, you know, metaphor, sure. I guess. It's, I don't fucking know. Yeah, I don't okay. know what it's, it is. All right, anyway, it's fine. It's, it's special, is okay. Know. So okay, well, why? I don't. I've been trying to figure it out myself. Like, how does that make things easier? I don't know to to, to categorize things that way. I, yeah, like you could just say the amount of people. You know, that seems like it'd be much better. That's the whole thing with like these corporate jobs. I feel like people just want to like jazz things up a little bit with their vernacular. Well, you just know there's nothing else that entertains them. Well, I was the saying, you know, that person was at some boring ass convention and just saw one person do that. or heard one person do that, and then they're like, "Oh, that's a funny little thing I can just take into my own office." Yeah, you or know like, what I mean? Like moving the needle. That's another big one that people say all the time. Yeah, I hate that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's not good. There's there's actually there's a couple of phrases at our office. I'm trying to remember now. There's one. That I fucking hear all the time, and I can't remember it now. That like almost everyone says, "God damn it!" When, when I when I hear it, I hear it every time, and every time, I'm like, why does everyone use this phrase? And I don't fucking remember it anymore. Yeah. Do you guys do like a thing where you have like a, uh, you like get together and like you establish like your like essentially like your credo or like your um your mission and whatnot? Oh, uh, 
I think the, I think they just like have like, like a culture missions. like the culture building shit. You yeah, know? yeah. So they um we we do like a a team building event like every year, we'll, like go and do some shit. They bring us to like a bar or something, make us do these weird activities. I mean, that's fun. Unless you guys go to a fucking bar. Yeah, right? it's 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 like for for what it is, it's it's usually all right. <sighs> Did you fix my can for me? Thank you. Yeah, it's a good can. Yeah. Um. So anyway, what what what? So <laughs> what was the point of this? <laughs> I don't know. I just <laughs> popped into my head. I figured. So were you, I, I just like getting were, your were takes. You, on were you weird were you that were you curious of how know. I felt about the guy who's like, if there's twelve people, it's a two pizza affair. Was eighty? So basically, he thinks. First of all, I I will take. I have to take a few issues. Yeah, I knew six, I knew you would. That's why I'm six, talking to you about six it. people per pie. That's definitely not working out. Now, well, yeah. I think. Like the least amount of people per pie is fucking like well, the most. I mean, the, so, mo- the most people per pie is four. What kind of what kind of pizza though? I don't give a shit. So like you know, it we doesn't had, matter. It's typically cut into we, eight pieces. So yeah. we we had a deep dish though the other night. Uh, that's how many like, pieces? How many pieces of deep dish did you eat? That, uh, two, but it was a lot. That it was. So I was pressing, I was what is what myself. is two times four? Uh, eight. Yes. So that's between six and twelve. So he's not wrong. Wait. Wait. <laughs> wait <a second. laughs> no, I'm talking about slices. It's eight people, yeah. No, it's eight slices. Oh, yeah, it is eight slices. <laughs> I, I, don't know why, I don't know why we're so retarded with math. I'm not like retarded. You, Shut up, you idiot. You retarded. You're like, that's like 15 people, man. That's crazy. What the fuck? Like, dude, 15 people can take down one pie, dude. Okay, so that's what I think. I think that if you want to break down people... Yeah. In a pizza for whatever reason. Yeah, yeah. I don't look the whole thing I, I mean I don't get. But but you can't say that six people represents one pizza. It's gotta be four yes. at the most. Uh, yeah, I agree. You know what I mean? Yep. There's some of those weirdos that like, you know, those fucking girls or whatever that are just like, Oh, I'm watching my weight or whatever and then there's like And men just and men, our bases. And yeah. men or trans people. Yes. You could have any type of genitals. It doesn't matter to me. Yeah, I, I love everybody. Uh, Non-binary, if, cover them if, all. If you're if you're somebody who fits one of these descriptions and you and you are trying to lose some weight, maybe you only want one slice. Yeah, it's not unheard of. Not unheard of. What's well, what? I started doing this new thing called splitting a slice. Yeah. So you split a slice, like in half. Which with direction? The, with someone else. Which yeah. which direction? Well, it depends. Is like you split it sideways so someone gets crust you, no, and then the other person no, gets a, a, a little you, triangle. You roll it up. You roll up and you eat like you're sharing a cannoli. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, all right. And then you kiss in the middle and the HR is like, hey, hey, cool it. <laughs> you know? Or you could do it with the HR. Well, oh, mm-hmm. are we talking about? This isn't sexual. I do not identify like that. I, well, so I don't what? identify sexually. <laughs> just in any way. <laughs> I just don't have any identity <laughs> sexually. Here, you guys, you guys talk for two seconds. I'll be right back. All right? Uh, no, thanks. Yeah, no thanks. Oh god damn it! Well, no, you just do your thing. I'll 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 help producer Pete again, like I always do when you fucking leave. So how you been, buddy? How are things? How are things going? Yeah, pretty good. You you and you and you and Lolo's doing good. Everything on the up and up. Great as always. Does it actually guys good? Yeah. You happy? Uh huh. She happy? I don't know. Yeah, do you you never can never tell. (sighs) I think I I know you're not on mic. It doesn't matter. Let me just let me just give you a little advice, okay? Or you could get on mic. I I prefer you to be on mic. Yo, welcome back to KGI five a a m. I don't know. No, that's great. That was great. Now you right, lead off. I'll be I'll be your I'll be your I'll be your second mic. All right, just you just do a little radio. Sh- <clears throat> Turns out there's some traffic on the pike. You better get out of there. On the pike. On the pike. Oh man! You better make sure, hey ladies, make sure your minivans are full of gas because you don't want to run out on the pike. Actually, you don't have to worry about that. There's a gas station not even a half mile. Oh, <sighs> unless a gas. Don't worry about it. Oh, well, there's a half mile from anywhere. Anywhere on the pike? There's a, you're always within a half mile. <laughs> you're on the pike. You're <laughs> half a mile away. <laughs> Tops. <laughs> Tops. <laughs> you guys having fun? Yeah, that was actually kind of fun. Oh, okay. I think Pete and I are just going to start. I can, I can see We're just here. going to start doing morning radio together. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. And we're just going to talk about the pike. This uh, this soundboard down here is un- underutilized, in my opinion. You which, guys should be doing shit which like soundboard? that. Which soundboard? This one? one? Yeah, the one. Well, the, the we don't have anything to here. fucking drop. Josh? 
What, what do you mean? He doesn't have anything to fucking Dude, drop. Dude, I'm going to fucking kill either of you guys. Nice. I'm going to kill e- e- either one of you who... Suge- he doesn't have anything who to drop. That, who suggests that I have to do back. The Going Hard Podcast. Welcome back. Oh, shit. The, ho- the Halloween the one. Podcast. Yeah, the the monster mash. But only it's the going hard podcast. Yeah, that was that was actually <laughs> that was pretty good. fucking dope. I remember <laughs> we, that. we snuck it in on him. He didn't that even realize great. it was happening. Well, I, that made my night. Josh, well, I, he doesn't have anything to fucking drop. I love the well. Your baby's upstairs. We can start there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dead baby jokes. They're always funny. Classic. Uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the monster mash. I I actually I like love holiday songs. Me too. Yeah, I've grown into it. Like I used to fucking hate because like. I don't know. Like, I've been out of the house long enough that this doesn't bother me anymore, but I used to fucking, like, have to deal with my mom playing the fucking same Bing Crosby album uh, she during went, Christmas she's time. classic. For, like, fuck. Well, there was a. Actually, there was one. It was a Ricky. It was a Ricky Martin. Uh, yeah. Christmas I was going to say, there's usually one, like, weird one thrown in the mix. And the that, family. yeah. And that one was, like, it was, it was so, it was, like, Living every the fucking. Living the Lota. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, Feliz Navidad, loco. I think, I think it was a Feliz <laughs> Navidad song. That yeah, was of course on. it yeah. was. Yeah. yeah. Um, she would play the shit out of that. And so it's like, I fucking would just, like, hate Christmas music and stuff. Uh, but now, you know, kind of grown into it. Yeah. yeah. What's I, I like that Bing Crosby shit. It's pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. You 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 like all the any you like Bill Cosby, Bing Crosby. Uh, Bing Crosby, kind of, Bill Kring. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit, dude. Crosby. Yeah. Uh, Crosby, oh, Stills, it. Nash, and Young. You like all that shit. Yeah. You I know? actually yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, Crosby still What's your Cros- favorite what's your favorite Christmas song? Uh You have to have one. I have one. Uh, let's think here. Producer Pete, think about yours, because I'm going to ask you next. So mine's kind of like, it, heads mine's up. kind of gay, you know? <laughs> what, like, it's, I don't know, have, it's like, a, cla- ha- it's have a, a classic it's one. It's like, have a butt fucking Christmas or something. No, I just know you're going to, you're just going to look at me and just be like, that's gay, dude. Uh, look, if it's... I'm just trying to get ahead of your fucking criticism. I, first I of all, like, I don't just throw around the word gay like it's oh, 1999. Yeah. Okay. Not in this podcast. We're on the good boy. We're on the good boy. Oh yeah, that's right. Now. Fuck it. Sorry. Bleep that out, please. Yeah. Can you bleep it out for me? I, maybe I will. Last podcast, I was, said I was going to cut like half of it. I didn't cut any fuck. of it. Fuck. Uh, <laughs> so who knows? I'm going to actually decide yeah. a week from now when I get around to editing this fucking. I think. Uh, you remember know, remember that emailer that used to hit us up but killed himself, Jeffy? <laughs> yeah, I do remember that. I think that he has a lot you. to do with why he didn't. I think he stopped doing life Wait, because wh- of the whole like gay thing. I don't know. I, I, we went into we went in a certain direction. That's we did kind of go hard in the direction where we would just like say like gay. And I feel stuff. like we were doing that a, like a lot at the very beginning. I don't think he, we were. That was what reeled him in. No, we were good boys at the beginning. I think the fir- first episode we said rape like thirty times. Yeah, but rape that's ve- that's a very inclusive word. Yeah, I suppose you can. Guys kind of rape, rape, girls rape, animals rape, animals, animals rape, rape all the time. Yeah, do- dolphins. Dolphins, my god. Mm-hmm. Gosh, we can go on and on. Yeah. Oh, oh my food, god. Food rape. Food. Food rapes. What? Yeah. Yeah, rapes hard. Should I be worried? You ever had a cheeseburger? Holy fuck. Yeah. I'm not saying yes to this. Yeah, exactly. I always need, I always need a napkin at the end of eating a cheeseburger, but it's not because of the cheese. It's because of all the tears on my face from getting raped by it. Damn, I'm learning things. Yeah, yeah. I, I always need two things. I'm done eating a cheeseburger: napkins, wipe my tears, and a tampon to put my asshole to block up all that blood from the forced entry. <laughs> uh, anyway, what were we talking? You know, your favorite Christmas song. <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I don't even want to say it now. <laughs> Dude, by the way, getting raped by a guy named Big Mac would be terrifying. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dude. <laughs> he he's going to give you that special sauce. Dude, Big know? Mac comes in with the Whopper, dude. Just <laughs> fucking dude, crushes your asshole, dude. <laughs> hey, baby, I'm Big Mac. Dude, nice. Dude, that's the person you get raped by in prison for Big sure. Big Mac, yeah. yeah Big Mac yeah. and Whopper just Holy come around, <laughs> It all makes sense. Now. Dude. How come these burgers all sound like guys who would rape you in prison? Oh, what the fuck is this? Man. There's just like sticky jizz on the and, side and of hey, the And hey, if you're really unlucky, five guys come in. You know what I'm saying, guys? Hey. hey it's f- certainly five no guys. juicy Lucy, <laughs> that's for sure. Nope, sure isn't. 
Hey, what, what, what do you, hey, what's your favorite Christmas song, though? Those are the Nutcracker. Wait. Is that the... Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Oh, is, it is that it? Uh, maybe. What's the Nutcracker? That sounds about right. It's yeah, a classic one. No, that's that's a good one. I thought you were gonna say yeah. like the Mariah Carey like. No, 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 no. Because no, when I, you said when you said I was gonna call you gay, I don't know. I just figured you'd just be like, oh, that's no the classic. I, I, mine's, a, mine's a classic. My favorite is Silver Bells. Silver Bells. Love okay. Silver Bells. Yeah, Bing Crosby's good. version is fantastic. It is very good. I like it. You know who else has? A, uh, you know, there's a Bob Dylan Christmas record. Uh, yeah, you did mention that. Yeah. Do you listen to it every Christmas? It's pretty hard to listen to that. I'm not going to lie. As much as I love Bob Dylan, that's pretty hard to listen to. Uh, Producer Pete, <sighs> I told, some, you, to, some time I to told you to mull this over. Yeah, I have it. You can just ask the question. Uh, uh, Mine would be uh, <laughs> Bon Jovi's It's My Life. Yeah? Yeah. It is kind of a Christmas song, though. You know what I mean? Well, in, in the same sense that Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Well, Die Hard is a Christmas movie. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Well, well John, this song is a Christmas song. Bon, bon Jovi so. wrote that song during Christmas. I got the album for Christmas, and it freaked me out. Christmas song. Oh, yeah. All right. All right. Well, I'll accept it. Do you have it's a- all? It's all in the spirit of the Christmas. You know, it doesn't have to like have Christmas Well, also, lyrics. maybe after Jesus fucking spurted out of Mary, he was just like, it's my life, <laughs> you know? Yeah. Well, it was either that or Britney Spears, oops, I did it again. Yeah, okay. This is getting nice. further and further away from Christmas. Do you, do you have a, any sort of traditional? How about like a Halloween traditional. song? What, I, I'm Jewish. What the fuck are you even talking about? All right, about? what's your favorite fucking Jew song? I don't give a shit. Well, Adam Sandler has a couple of good ones. Exactly. Like. The Hanukkah ah, song. Okay. You love the yeah, Hanukkah yeah. song. Actually, uh, I like the one about the pig and the turkey. Oh, his Thanksgiving song. Well, I, I, that's what you call it. Yeah, but but, That is actually closer to Hanukkah than... Do you know? It is. That is true. Yeah. I'm just simply going by the calendar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, wait. Colander? Yeah, going by the colander. That's what we got to the Italians call it. <laughs> just sifting through the information. Yeah. Exactly. Very good. Mm. This is this is very good. Yeah. Good content. <laughs> this is good. Con- you know, that's that's all we ever do for these fucking people. You know, it's amazing we don't have a, at least a cult following at this point. <laughs> Like, how are we not cultivating at least like a few hundred? Yeah, just regular we listeners. Do, we, do, we do got like we get a no. Well, we I, don't. I think, I think we actually do have probably no. between the between the, the the platforms. How many do we get on Spotify, dude? I, I here's what I'm telling you right now. On, on average, here's what I'm telling you right now. This is literally what I know. Yeah, is that there is not even a single person who listens to every episode. Sure, bullshit. But we don't, we don't even on, have on an individual. We episode. don't even have one appointment listener. I know that's not true because I listen to every episode. No, I, that actually is true. I I also like was. Yes, watched, I would just prefer episode. you tell the truth. That doesn't count. Yeah, the Me truth. Too, the, the How truth, would you know? The truth is that doesn't count. How do I, I know? know? Because because I'm creating the parameters, not saying it doesn't count. I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like it either. I wish we were making money. I wish it was like somehow working. You know, <laughs> this is just like everything else in my life, though. Because I have we. I mean, I've half-assed this. You know, I feel like if people come and go, though, like I feel pe- people come and go. You know. You know, that's disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. I wish you would stop talking about people coming all the time. I'm going after. Yeah. Yeah. I uh, I typically go. Uh, I try to go right after. After you come. Mm hmm. Do you ever call? Do you ever come and then try to pee immediately afterwards and it just sprays all over the fucking place? I, I can pretty much pee right away. Yeah. And it never sprays like that. It's like even like the first like second. What are you doing? Well, if I. Uh, oh, you fucker. That's what the fuck was happening. God damn it, Petey. Wait, what, what, what's going on? Will you guys please fill me in? Okay, so Petey a moment ago <laughs> took this can, right? Yeah. And he, he f- uncrinkled it, right? And so I was like, oh, that's strange, but it's not out of character for Petey to just like, you know, uncrinkle a can and give it back to me. So wasn't too worried about it. Uh, apparently what he's been doing is putting fucking super glue on these cans and then pushing them against uh, the cans that I'm drinking. Yeah. And so moments ago, I, <laughs> I I picked up I picked up my can to drink it, and I I realized that one of my fingers felt like numb, and so like I started fucking like messing with it, and uh, I was like, oh, there's a bunch of sticky shit all over my fingers, you know. <laughs> Could and be, then, could be uh, anything, you know. I don't know what he's talking. And I've about. just, and then I noticed that there was a bunch on the side of the can here. I'm just like, oh, somebody came on the side of my fucking can here. Oh, you, you thought know? it was cum? Yeah. 
And then I started playing around with it more, and I got more in my hands. But uh, turns out it's uh, super glue from the from the Pete from the producer. I don't know how that draws a connection on what I'm doing. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 you know, I'll actually step in here as kind of the mediator. I'm not sure how you getting super glue on your hands has anything to do with him putting super glue on the cans that he's then putting in front of you. I'm failing to find the connection here. I mean, I was just watching him super put super glue on a but, can over but, there. But you have to understand how I'm failing to see the connection between these two acts, though, right? I mean, I like, I guess I like. It seems like it seems, it seems like that's your problem, and it seems like. He's just kind of doing what he does, you know? All right. Fair enough. Thank you. Hey, can you stop wasting all my super glue? I'm not <laughs> wasting fucker. any super glue. <laughs> Dude, I'll give you $9. I'll shit. give you $9 for more super glue. What right? the fuck? I'll actually add in my own $9 as well. All right, fine. Yeah, you have the super glue, all right? Do whatever let... you got to do with the super yeah. glue, all right? Sweet. <sighs> hey, I have a question for you. Yes? Um, and This might not be something that you think is funny, but... Uh, Something that P and I were discussing. If, let's say, for example, we put some sort of like annoying device up in your uh, yeah, the little beeper thing that you guys let's have. Let's say the beeper thing. Yep. <laughs> let's say you put it up there, um, and you get you're obviously gonna get annoyed. You're gonna try to pull it down. But what if <laughs> on the <laughs> what if on the sides? <laughs> what if on the sides? On <laughs> both sides of the beeper, there was uh, two mouse traps that were that were set and ready to go. <laughs> so when you reached up there to try to grab the beeper, you got your hands all fucking snapped up. Would you be Would you be upset? Uh, I mean, yeah, a little bit. I think. <laughs> I think that would be the appropriate response to that, right? <laughs> but what if What if we got on that video and it was all content? <laughs> I mean, I suppose I'd have to. <laughs> It's like you know. PD and I already decided. Thing. We already decided this was a bad idea, but I did, I do think it's really funny. Okay. okay. Well, <laughs> thanks we, for we one hundred percent did not do it. Why do you look like that when you say that? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> How funny would it be <laughs> now that we we revealed the plan to him and everything, and he's still just like, oh, these fucking guys, and he just fucking thumb and pinky God. both just snapped up. Just it's a forewarning. Don't break your fingers. All right. Hey, thanks. Yeah. Guys. Second question. Do you think that could break your finger? Uh, yeah. Uh, pinky probably. I don't think it would break your. I know. I, I, don't, don't, I don't think it would break your other. Fingers. I don't think it would break it either. Right. Your pinky, it could though. I think. Like think about think about how much smaller a, a mouse a mouse bone a yeah. spine is yep. than your finger. Your finger's got to be like four times the diameter. If it, I think if it hits it like perfectly right on like the joint though, it can fuck it up. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that was, that was the reason why I said it was a no-go because I don't want to actually break your yeah, fucking that'd be, hand. That'd be fucked up, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would not be happy about yeah, that. Yeah, so instead we're just going to put uh, we're just going to set bear traps outside your bed. Oh, okay, all right. <laughs> also, I'm just, just like jump up to like feed Sunny and just like just get, my leg just, just like fucking... Bear <laughs> All right, that's kind of funny. But again, that's, that's though, again, though, it's just for content. It's just for content. Yeah, like, just no hard, no hard feelings, bro. It's just don't, content. Don't just place lose, your hands anywhere. <laughs> it's just a rusty old trap. <laughs> <Yeah, just> ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, for fuck's sake! This is good stuff. All right, we should do a fake break. We've we've, we've done like fifty-five minutes yeah. or something. Yeah. Should we just do ads and then jump into the song or what? Ah, uh, yeah, I think so. All right. All right. This episode of the podcast is brought to you by Deschutes Fresh Squeezed IPA. Gross. Uh, it was made in Bend, Oregon, and on the front of it, if you've noticed, hops kind of looks like weed, and you know people in Oregon know all about that, so it must be great. Um, one warning, though, this beer is freshest within the first four months. So, the, for instance, the package dawn date on this one is January 12th, currently March 29th, well in that window it's a a fresh beer for fresh boys you know yep is that fresh squeeze yep Mm. uh deschutes fresh squeezed ipa a fresh beer for good boys Hmm. second advertisement of the podcast is brought to you by uh another type of beer prize did uh (laughs) I hope that gets picked up, that sound. I think it did, I yeah. think it did. That was, that was fucking jump. sick. Yeah, was, yeah, that was fucking dope. Uh, anyways. Remember, so. remember when you spilled that entire keg? What? 
Did I yeah, do that? The first keg we ever got. Remember we got that keg? At- oh, I had it inside. Oh, and we brought it into the fucking thing. We yeah. set it on top of the that table. That was hilarious. Yeah. Well, I didn't spill the keg. I spilled the, the well, ice right. water yeah. surrounding it. Well, you're like, like fucking. It was like five gallons like worth fi- of fucking. 50 pounds of ice. Or whatever the <laughs> yeah. fuck it important difference, though. <laughs> it is an important difference. Because God, one was, of those things is water and the other thing is so beer. That was so funny, dude. Yeah, that was fucking. I bet there's still like, live. Some, d- some deep, like rot under uh, where that happened yeah 100 fucking percent because those those fucking uh little uh those were oh, that wasn't like wasn't, real wood wasn't well done at all oh no, that was seep, seeped in there yeah all right back to prize <laughs> anyway prize beer uh it's a brewery that exists inside of the cities uh one of one of many um some of their beer is good some of it's you know it's all right but i uh, tell you what wait what <laughs> oh, <that>, <laughs> That can't be. That can't be in the ad copy. <laughs> Look, they, imagine, imagine you're doing a podcast and it's like, just give your give your honest assessment of our beer. It's like that would never be a direction, dude. As he wears a ham. They didn't tell me not dude, to say it. We're trying to get this fucking. They didn't tell me dude, not we're try, to say we're it. We're trying to get this peaking garden. It's like. It's like, you know, Pekin Garden, you know, sometimes you fucking shit your brains up for days that you eat yeah. it, but sometimes it's good. Yeah, they got good hot pot. This the second advertisement of the podcast is brought to you by Peking Garden. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is without their Peking Peking Garden. <laughs> Jesus, this is without Mary's fucking permission. Fuck Mary. All right. Yeah, fuck Mary. Kill. Listen, we like your fucking food. I like the hot pot. I like the Huna uh, Hunang triple threat, uh, triple crown Hunang Hunang triple crown. That's what that I always got. Fucking delicious. That's what I always got. Uh, you can't go wrong with uh, lo mein and uh, uh, the fried rice. Also. Uh, shrimp toast. They come. They they're like little fucking shrimpy things that are rolled up, and you dip them in fucking sweet and sour, and you throw that shit in your face. Oh my fucking god! Good lord. <laughs> Good stuff. Good lord. Uh, Pe- Peking Garden. Good lord. Uh, they sell Peking duck also. And now time for the second half of the podcast. It's the going hard podcast. Welcome back to the podcast, everybody. Hey, producer Pete, how was your break, buddy? It was really good, actually. Thank you for asking. How was yours? It was fine and dandy. And Alan, uh, your break. <laughs> it was, was good. It was good. Good. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Good. Yours was good. Mine was very good. All right. Cool. Very good. I got my Alan. This is, mine was mine was great. Pete, nice. Pete, yes. and and yours, Pete. Uh, yeah, it was good. Good. Nice. Cool. Nice. Cool. Good. Thank you for asking. Mm. Uh, Alan, yours? So... It was all right. Nice. Yeah. Josh? Good. Good. It was It was good. Yeah. Hmm. You guys want to make some music or what? Oh, yeah. Sure. All right. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. You, you made it through another one. This was our good boy podcast. So I hope no one was too uh, upset with anything we said. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag good boy. Good boys. We, we, we were trying to be not good job. We were trying to do good jobs this time. Yes. Because after we, we all got to give what Alan did the last couple of podcasts. Oh, but, God damn it. But uh, well, that's what I was trying to give him a good, you know, a little good boy. He deserves well, thank it. You. Hey, I mean. I but, thought I was a good boy all the podcast. Hey, thanks, but... hey, thanks for finally not saying awful things on the podcast once. Yeah, no problem. Nice. No problem. <laughs> it actually brother. is nice because I, I, I don't. I mean, I'm trying to think back in the what two some years. Is that the first time I was a good boy? Yeah, because usually Alan just like sometimes he'll just like like just immediately start saying horrible things, and then you have to just roll with it. It always comes out of to nowhere it. too. To like no one. Out. I don't yeah. see it coming. Yeah, yeah you uh-huh. never. I I've never seen it coming even a single time. Well, I try surprising you guys. You know, remember that time when you really surprised us by yeah. coming in our faces? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we, we yeah, came yeah. out of the, you came out of the pockets with a robot, and we we're like, "What are you doing? You're like well, cleaning your stomach or something?" And instead, you just like came all over both. Well, of I had us. A, well, I had an oil leak. I was a robot, you know. <laughs> oh yeah, you were pretending to be a robot. Yeah. All right. Well, that's everything <laughs> for the podcast. All right, guys, enjoy the song. Have a have a good week. See ya. <laughs> Oh,
Thank you.